perfect. <laughs> so yeah, as far as expectations go, you know, I think the the bar set really high for us. Our guys have done a great job, whether it was through spring and, and then even into summer with the amount of guys that that we've had around that continuously raise the bar. And and that's something that's a kudos to to our players, right? They don't have to be here in the summer. Right, it's something that they choose to, to be at and, and choose to, to continue to grind and continue to improve. So really excited about the, the direction that we're going and, and the opportunities that lie in front of us. Both both these young men, obviously upperclassmen, talking from a leadership standpoint, I believe last year you guys were 2-9. and nine. New, new season, how do we forget the bad but also remember it enough to have that extra field motivation? How's that uh, been set for the culture this year in 2023? Yeah, I think, you know, you, you always have to remember where you're coming from and getting through those those tough games and, and tough seasons is what really motivates you and, and pushes you to, to improve. And that's something where, again, these guys have, have really stepped up and with the, the new guys that we've brought in so far, you know, really explain to them, you know, hey, where we're coming from and really what we need to do to take that next step. And that's where, like I said, these guys have done a, a great job being able to communicate with that with them and saying, hey, this isn't how it was in the past and this is how we're changing it and going through the process and working hard and, and really trusting in each other. You guys want to speak on that as well? Here's your next question. <laughs> as far as establishing a new culture from the 2-9 and nine season last year to obviously you guys are le- older now, a little bit more leadership role. How are we feeling about moving into 2023, like Coach said, still remembering the past, but that was who we were. This is who we are. Yeah, um, even from a standpoint of like, uh, I got our conference, some other teammates got our conference, but like, we were also 209, you know what I'm saying? So like, that doesn't matter. Like, that stuff matters from last season. So all of us, like we, from a clean, fresh clean slate, like we can forget about all of it. Got a new head coach, we got a new stadium coming, like everything new. So, so are we. To repeat the own oh, question one more time. <laughs> yeah. You guys are good, man. So, <laughs> talking from going from the two and nine season, yeah. moving into twenty twenty three. How do we keep that mindset of this is not who we are, this is who we were, but still not forgetting of where we were last year to the improvement of this year. Yeah, new culture building, a new culture, and everything like that. Yeah, I feel like we all should have a um, mixed play mentality in our head. Like if we do some bad this season, last season, so. It's a new season to um, become a better team and better all ourselves, but we can get more more freshmen coming in. Is there a specific area of the game that you guys think just needs to take that extra step, even if like a, just a specific group of team or even a specific teammate that you think can have, really have a breakout season this year? Yeah, I'll start on this one. And, and starting off, I think really for us and, and over the kind of time that I've been here, it's always been kind of an offense versus defense. And, and that's really for us where we've emphasized that no word team. We need the offense, we need the defense, we need the special teams. And, and we've kind of changed how we do some things, and, and we're going to continue to change that to, to really promote that team mentality over, kind of like you said, if it's you know, defense is dominating the game and offense is struggling or vice versa. You know, we're in this together. You know, we're going to need one side to pick up the slack at times, and we're going to need the other, time, or the other side to continue to elevate and continue to, to kind of keep us in games at times until the other side figures it out, but really making sure that – we promote the the overall team aspect. For me personally, you know, I'm a D lineman, so I'm gonna say my D line. <laughs> uh, I only can speak on who I see working every day, and that's my D line because I'm out there working with them every day. Yeah, like when I first came here, it was like offense on offense, defense with defense. But now that I've been here, like we more like a family. Like the coaches, the players, we all connect together. Coach, first year with the program, or some of the growing pains that you've had to go through, and some of the things that have been a little bit easier than you thought, and some of the things that have been a little bit harder than you thought. Yeah, and I really feel like I've been fortunate. One in the aspect that you know, I've been around these guys for for four years, um, so I, I kind of knew where we were at going in, and the guys have done a great job as far as embracing any any of the changes that we've made. And you know, it's not something that we came in and said, "Hey, we're just doing this." But being able to explain to them why why we're doing the things that we're doing, and, and these guys will really start to see it when we get to to fall camp, and and then obviously into the season, there'll be some some opportunities to kind of change things. Um, but you know, some of the growing pains is is always fun, and, and trying to figure out, you know, it's for me the the real struggle has been it's it's not as much you know X's and O's as as you are kind of as a position coach or a coordinator kind of working up through. It's it's you know you're dealing with 
you know, paying bills and, and all the little things and the paperwork. That's been a, a major change for me where, you know, obviously not had a, as much opportunity to, to spend on the, the offense or defensive side, you know, kind of schematically there. How have you changed as a leader going from, you know, not being a head coach, obviously becoming a head coach? Yeah, my number one emphasis, obviously spending a lot of time with the offensive guys. Um, and I made this known to the defensive guys that I don't want it to be uh, – an offense only world um, within our culture and that I want to spend time with the defensive guys. I want to get to know them. So that's where I put uh, a major emphasis and that goes for the specialists too, making sure that, you know, Hey, I get to know those guys and it's not just, Hey, offense is going to, we're going to run this drill because it's an offensive drill, understanding that, no, we're going to do what's best for the team and, and really making sure that all three facets of the game understand that we're going to do what's best for the team. Is that something yeah, yeah, I wanted to say like, it's, it's more for a coach to say like, oh, you can you can do this and do this. It's more with action with Coach Linhart. Like he invited us over to his house and stuff like that for dinner. So it's more like being a family. And could you talk about how that transition looks from a player's perspective, seeing a new person take over the reins? What 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 impact does it have on you as a player? How does that affect your mindset on the field? So like um, walking into it was kind of a little shaky, but like. Eventually, um, Coach Caston has really stepped up as our head, as our, our, um, our weight, our strength coach when uh, our other coach left, and so um, that really made a big impact. Like you gonna see everybody biceps bigger, our backs bigger, <laughs> bigger traps, you know backs wider, dumpies walking around. <laughs> so you know we all like we all look bigger and better. So like honestly, for the program, I think like a little bit of. Turmoil was good for us because it, it opened everybody's eyes. Everything ain't going to be always the same. You know what I'm saying? Got to adapt. Preparing you guys for life. <laughs> <laughs>